Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released a macOS Big Sur 11.2.1 to the public. This is available to all macOS 11 Big Sur supported devices and will work on your iMac, iMac Pro, Mac Pro, MacBook, MacBook Pro, anything that's supported this will install on as well as the Mac Mini. Now you can see this came in at 2.43 gigabytes. This is on an M1 MacBook Pro. So let's go ahead and take a look at the build number. We'll click the Apple, go to about this Mac, and under about this Mac, let's close the window behind it. Under about this Mac, you can see the version is 11.2.1. .1. Click on it, you'll get the build number of 20D74. So that's how you know you've been updated. And this particular update was released to address a couple problems. The first one is fairly major. This is specific to 2016 and 2017 MacBook Pro models. So whether that be the 13 inch or the 15 inch and you have a MacBook Pro and it wasn't charging, it should now charge properly. So if the MacBook Pro wasn't charging at all, it should now charge or charge fully if you were having issues with that. So you'll have all of the same things. And then if you have an M1 MacBook, of course, this isn't a new feature, but you'll have battery health as well. And so this update was released mainly to fix that, but there's also additional fixes in this that are very important. And that is specifically for security. So if we go to the security website that shows us what has been updated, you can see three different major security updates. The first one being an Intel graphics driver. If you're on an Intel device, so maybe an older MacBook pro prior to the M ones or any of the others. And you'll see it said in, in the impact was an application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges. And then they fixed it. And it says an out of bound write was addressed with improved input validation. You can see this with the CVE numbers. The next one is again, an Intel graphics driver issue. And the major one that you should install this update for is due to this one where it says impact a local attacker may be able to elevate their privileges. This issue was addressed by updating to pseudo version 1.9.5 P2 pseudo or super user do could give you full access to your computer if they know the password, but this was giving access somehow without them knowing the password. And so you can see it's available for these versions. And so hopefully you'll have updates for previous versions as well. Mojave Catalina as well. And those are the major updates in this particular update. So if you're wondering if you should install it, I would say absolutely just for those security issues alone, those are pretty major. So I would definitely install it. Now, finally, I wanted to share the Geekbench scores since some people had been asking for that. And this is my M1 MacBook. I ran this without screen recording. That way you would get the better scores. And right after installing it, you can see single core was 1,733, multi-core was 7,574. And so these are the current scores for this particular update. And you can see the build 11.2.1. Now, other than this, many people have been asking me, when will we see Mac OS 11.3? And given that it's currently in beta, I would say hopefully within a few weeks, but maybe not until March at this point. Also, Apple has been releasing iOS updates and many have been asking about those as well. I would expect a small update as soon as tomorrow based on them releasing this update today, we could see iOS 14.4.1 released or something along those lines. So of course I'll keep you updated. And if you'd like to get the latest updates, just follow along on the channel. And if you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, I'll link it in the description. Like I normally do. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.